Hi guys, you're tuned in to another Rappler Live Jam and we're here with our next guest, the lovely Clara Benin. Hi, Clara. Hi. Hello. How are you? I I'm doing good. Mm-hmm. I love your I love your setup right now. Thank you. With the plant and the art and the guitar. <laughs> 10 over 10. <laughs> oh, thank you. I know, I know everyone asks this, but how have you been under quarantine? Um, I've been good, aside from, you know, not being able to see my friends and have gigs. Um, I'm an introvert, so mm-hmm. I'm used to staying home. I'm, I'm a homebody, so I'm actually, you know, I've been enjoying my time spent at home. <laughs> Yeah, what what have what has been occupying your days lately? Um, well, when the lockdown started, I immediately um made a routine for myself. Like I told myself, okay, in the mornings I'm going to I'm going to work out and you know, I I just made like a daily routine for me so that I I'd get distracted and I don't get overwhelmed with what's happening in the world so that I still have that kind of sense of control over um over my personal life so yeah. yeah so you know how like some people have like they get into baking or some people have become yeah plant parents like what's your thing what have you picked up during quarantine what hobby have you picked up um what hobby did i pick up honestly it's it's working out consistently Mm-hmm. And this has been something I've been telling myself for years. Like, you know, I need to I need to work out every day, even just a ten minute workout. I know it will help my mood. It's it's and it will, you know, be really healthy for me. And that's something that I've achieved during the quarantine. And it's it's working out. It's setting um time aside every morning just to work out. And that's for me, that's a huge accomplishment. Nice. It helps also, yeah. like with, with the anxiety, right? And like yeah, it does. It's mind. it it changes my entire day. Like it, it's a huge mood booster for me. Right. So what? How has your music been affected? Like being being in quarantine and you know being not being able to go out. I like I mentioned before, I definitely miss watching watching gigs and performing at gigs and yeah. just and it brings energy eh, when you know there's a crowd in front of you and you're singing. It's an entirely different energy from what we're we have to do now in the new normal, which is, you know, um stuff like this, like doing live streams. And it's yeah. just it it was a huge adjustment for me, super awkward to like talk in front of the camera as if I'm talking to a crowd. It's it's weird, but, you know, we just have to um, get used to it for now. So you have been, yeah. you have been doing gigs, like, from home. And you yeah, said, yeah, I have. Like, uh, what, it's awkward, I can imagine. So what do you do? Like, how do you connect with, with your audience when you're just, you know, looking through the camera? I try my best to, um, cause usually there's a chat, um, thing going on when you're doing live stream. So I try my best to read through the chat and try to connect with my audience as much as possible. It's it's definitely different, but you know I'm I just wanna do my best to be here for my listeners during these during this time. So yeah. And how do you keep creative? Like, the flow of ideas, has it changed at all being in quarantine? Has it changed? Not, not really. I'm, I'm like, I'm so used to staying home. And my, well, I'm a full-time musician. So my studio is my room. It's, it's all here. All my equipment are here. I'm used to recording at home and writing and producing at home. So it's not much of a adjustment for me in that aspect. Oh, cool. So you were already set yeah. for, for home recording. Yeah. You recorded a song, right? Your most recent release. That was all done under lockdown. 
I did. Um, I wrote the song. It's called "It's Okay," and I wrote it during the lockdown. And the it was around the time when the ECQ kept getting extended. So I was filled with a lot of frustration and worry, and I'm sure a lot of us were feeling the same. And there was just so much uncertainty with what's happening all around us. So yeah, I wrote the song to just help me process my emotions and to also remind myself that you know it's okay to feel these feelings and we're all feeling uncertain at this time and that I'm not alone and you know it's it's good to sit with your feelings and acknowledge them and know that that we're all in the same page here we're all going through this together yeah so when you wrote that did that help you come to terms with what you were feeling yeah it did definitely i mean songwriting for me has always been um like my main tool to help me process my feelings and process what's going on around me so it's it's definitely helped me right and did did you hear anything from people like when you released it did anyone like did you what kind of feedback did you get when you released the song um the well people messaged me and told me that like my listeners told me that you know how much they can relate to the song and how much it brought them comfort and just reading all those messages encouraged me and brought me comfort as well like like i said like i felt less alone right so it was all like kind of like a community coming together over the same yeah feeling yeah um i know a lot of songs like this have been coming out um from from artists um they, it's just inspired by you know being under quarantine and being anxious over the future has there been any like pandemic era song that that you've heard recently that really struck you hmm i think um hayley williams she released her own um like side project aside from paramore and she actually released the songs during the lockdown mm-hmm. so that 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 was like my go to whenever i felt overwhelmed i would just listen to her entire album and it made me feel you know less alone and it was just it was very timely and relevant for me mm-hmm. what was that album called in, in case people um, want to listen to it yeah um it's called petals for armor right i'm actually searching it right now i'm <laughs> that one for which song of doing home yeah um she she has a song called uh and then it was a, like her entire album was just was just right. um very um comforting for me mm. so your song it's okay you'll be performing that along with yeah. two other songs i rose up slowly yeah. and yeah can you tell us tell us about these two songs I rose up slowly. Um, ah, sige. Um, I rose up slowly is part of an EP that I released last year called I Rose Up Slowly, mm-hmm. um, and I just feel like this song has been very helpful and comforting to a lot of people during these times. And usually, when I sing it, I would um dedicate it to our frontliners because this song talks about um rising up. Against the odds and just clinging on to hope when when you feel like all hope is lost. Yeah, and I just feel like it's a very powerful song, and I feel like it can encourage a lot of people to hold on to hope. Mm-hmm. And you wrote this before, even before, but like now it's taken on a new meaning. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How about Tila? What's that about? Um, Tila is. Originally by Side A, and I have a rendition of it off my EP called River Child. And um, I love the song. It's it's very it's very comforting. Um, it's very it's it's a love song, and I feel like it's just a yeah, it's just a very um comforting song. That's mm-hmm. why I love. I've been singing it a lot these days. Mm-hmm. I love it. Like yeah, really comforting <laughs> songs. Up 
uh, we'll hear it in a bit. <laughs> but before yeah. before we get into that, um, what are your? I know it's weird to think about future plans at the moment, but do you have any future plans, music wise? Um, current. I'm currently working on something. I'm. Am I allowed? I don't think I'm allowed to <laughs> um, really talk about it yet. I'm so sorry, but yeah. I am currently working on new music. And it will be out soon, definitely. So please watch out for that. And where can people um, stay updated on your stuff? Um, yeah, uh, you can follow me on social media. It's Clara Benin Music on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, you know, all of that. And I'm also on Spotify. My original songs are on Spotify. So please do check that out. My arms are over. From trying to reach the sky Will someone bail me out Or is everybody tired of my cycle Trying to piece me together I don't blame them Sad news on TV 
All I get from sleep are these strange and apocalyptic dreams. How do I make them bleed? I muster all my strength and look out the window. No children on the sidewalks, no cars on the streets. Isn't it ironic? This used to be a holiday scene. Now we're under siege. So is it okay if I close my eyes? Is it okay if I take my time? Just for a little while, just for a little while, just for a little while. Ooh. Heavy is the heart that's filled with memories. The happy, tragic, and mundane. And Jody was right when she said you don't know what you got till it's gone. Oh, it's all gone. So is it okay if I close my eyes? Is it okay if I take my time just for a little while? Just for. Just for a little while Ooh. We won't be the same I What's in front of me? Ooh. We won't be the same. I'm forever changed. I cannot unsee what's in So is it okay if I close my eyes? Is it okay if I take my time? Oh, is it okay if I close my eyes? Is it okay if I take my time? Just for a little while, just for just for a little while Ooh. Heavy is the soul that's going to war Questioning who's really in control So I plead and I plead to fight to see that this is where I'm supposed to be right now Dile Humindo Hola, Narini Kundi, Hunina.
Bye.